The new Tesla Model Y performance can finally do something that, um, to be honest, most electric cars can already do. And I believe this feature will roll out to all Teslas within the next few months. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. YouTube's new algorithm means that you're often not getting all of our videos in your feed. There's 7,500. I'm pretty sure you're probably not seeing a lot of them. In the description, there is a link to our newsletter. Click on that and you can get an update every day of all the latest news in the electric car industry. Now, a lot of people think that you can't use vehicle to grid on a Tesla. You can though, you just need the right setup. And I've talked about that in separate videos. But technically right now, Teslas don't have the option for vehicle to load, which almost every other EV does. But the new Tesla Model Y Performance, which just went on sale in the United States a couple of days ago, and will be delivered by the end of this year, officially supports vehicle to load, or V2L. This means that owners of the new Model Y will be able to export energy from the car's high voltage battery to power tools or appliances through an adapter that's sold separately by Tesla. Tesla confirmed the 2026 Model Y performance supports vehicle to load in a post that they put up publicly on X. And the company replied to another person who posted a Grok AI generated response that said the car supported both vehicle to load and vehicle to home. These features though are not listed on the company's website. So I don't know where Grok got these from. And they weren't present among the list of features posted when Tesla debuted the car a couple of days ago in the US. But yeah, somehow Grok actually picked up on this stuff. I guess Grok is owned by Musk basically. So maybe that had something to do with it. Anyway, Tesla said this, new Model Y performance offers vehicle to load with Tesla outlet adapter. Now I'm curious to know if this Tesla outlet adapter will work for all Teslas. Maybe it will, and we'll find out soon. Tesla's reply states that the refreshed Model Y performance only supports vehicle to load through the Tesla outlet adapter. The $80 adapter plugs into the latest generation mobile connector, which plugs into the car's charging port. With this setup, the Model Y performance can output a maximum of 120 volts at 20 amps to a pair of household outlets for a total of 2.4 kilowatts. Now, I, um, I know someone who purchased an MG vehicle to load cable for 250 Australian dollars, and that's what they cost at MG. So that's about 150 US dollars, meaning the $80 Tesla is charging for this vehicle to load adapter um, seems like a pretty fair price. But 2.4 kilowatts is not a lot of power. A lot of other EVs have more than that. Anyhow, getting back to this other issue I was mentioned before, vehicle to load has been present on EVs made by Hyundai, Kia, Ford, General Motors, um, Zika, Xpeng, BYD, many other car brands. And weirdly, despite the fact that Tesla are basically EV industry pioneers in a lot of ways, they have been very slow in putting the feature out. But I've got to say the Cybertruck, that was the first EV to have both vehicle to load and also vehicle to home when it came out in 2019. Although I guess it didn't really come out in 2019, did it? it took a few years after that. The refreshed Model Y performance now joins the Cybertruck. So I'm expecting that the latest Teslas will also get this feature. Now I should point out though, the Cybertruck has something that the Tesla Model Y performance does not, vehicle to home. Meaning you can power your entire house from the Cybertruck and it can put out a lot more power than the 2.4 kilowatt you can put out from the Tesla Model Y, which is not enough to power your whole home. 2.4 kilowatt could probably power a few devices, you know, a couple of fridges or something like that, but definitely not your whole house, at least not for most people anyway. All this said, guys, there are, of course, ways to access the vehicle to load functionality of several Tesla vehicles. People do this all the time. You can buy aftermarket adapters and things to make, get, get this to work, but, it's never been an official Tesla feature until now. So hopefully this is rolled out on other Tesla vehicles very soon. I expect it should be. I mean, it really should have been done years ago. Thanks for watching. The Sydney EV International Motor Show. If you wanna get a 50% discount on your tickets, all you gotta do, click the link in the description and use the promotion code that's in the description. Just copy and paste that. Now I should mention there's only 200 tickets available per day. So if you go to use the promo code and you can't get a ticket, wait till the next day. Don't wait until the day before the show to get your tickets because otherwise you'll probably miss out on getting the 50% discount.
If you bought a Tesla or you're going to buy a Tesla, they don't come with one very important feature, which to be honest, most electric cars now do come with. That's vehicle to load. Now, vehicle to load is something I think you want. I just had a power outage here at my home about a month or two ago. Power went out for a couple of days. Now, fortunately, I do have a five kilowatt battery and a one kilowatt battery. So I was able to power my fridges for those days. So I was fine. But actually, I purchased during that period of time a little vehicle to load adapter. I had to buy it from China, so I didn't have it during the power outage. But that means that if there's any future power outages, even if my batteries die, my little portable batteries, I can still use my electric car to power most of my house. Vehicle to load gives you around between three to four kilowatt of power you can send out from your EV to other devices. And it's also really good for camping, for using maybe your laptop battery died, you want to recharge your battery, uh, power tools, maybe you're on a work site and you're like, oh, I need some power, I'll run it off my car. So many different instances. I, but the main one for me is, you know, when the power goes out at your home and you, you need to keep your fridge going, you don't lose all your food inside your fridge or if it's freezing temperatures, you can run your heaters off your car. Can't do that with a Tesla. Well, that might be about to change. There's a new Kickstarter campaign going on and it looks like the machines um, actually work. So you can purchase one of these machines. You'll be able to anyway. And if this campaign is successful, then you'll be able to run vehicle to load from your Tesla. I think it's a really good idea. It's, I'm not sure about the price, but apparently the first level of this Kickstarter campaign is already sold out. So it looks like there's a huge amount of demand. Obviously, there's millions of Teslas on the roads and a lot, a, a, probably a pretty large number of those people do want to be able to have vehicle to load. Here are the details of this new vehicle to load device for Tesla cars. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you with us. I want to say a big thank you to our YouTube members. We just hit over 500. That was the goal, got there, fantastic. There is a couple of new videos coming to our YouTube member section, which are just for members, of course. Now, what is this device? Well, it actually, it's not just a plug. It's actually this kind of box and it has a plug and the plug you know, attaches to your vehicle, to your Tesla, and then the plug goes from your Tesla to this kind of um, box on, a box and then there's another cable that goes from that and you can you know get power from this device